Hey, good evening, everybody. How are we? I'm just sorry we're late. What are we late by? Six minutes. Shameful, Ed. How very dare you. Um, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, week two with the full face helmet. I hope you're reading me loud and clear. We've run into a few technical problems. Well, it wouldn't be us if we didn't run into technical problems. Um, lots of upgrades this week. Uh, yeah. As you can see, we'll run through those. Don't worry about that. We're nowhere near at the moment on Instagram, so I'm not even going to worry about that right now. We're going to sort that out in a minute. But, hey, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. Now, we've got a few adjustments to do on the fly, of course, because, uh, as is usual, we've had to reboot everything uh, with sort of like 30 seconds to spare. So we're just now in the process of getting everything as it should be. But my, oh, my. Can I just say, what an exciting night we've got for you tonight. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you've got a nice warm beverage or whatever it else you want to drink, because we've got some great stuff coming up tonight, including something pretty groundbreaking. But hey, that's us really, isn't it? We're always breaking the rules. So I think if my colleague is very uh, happy to do so, we're going to run some credits and see you in 30 seconds. Okay, we are back on, I am told. Fantastico, can't wait to get going. So, uh, I'll be with you in just one second. There we go. Right, we're just checking connection over on Instagram, and we are now live. Fantastic. Good evening, lovely folks of Instagram. Look, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? So, I'm just going to double quickly just double check it, Andy. I've got the white roads on, mate. Um, so, have you got a signal through that? Right, just bear with me one second, guys. Three, um, one, two, three. Yes, it's all good on this end, buddy. Evening, evening Instagram. We're about to get going. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> right, guys, just going to get the uh, stream open. You can tell that we've uh, had a few problems this evening. So I'm going to get that going uh, with the link I posted out onto social media earlier. And there we are. I think we should all be good to go. And then we can figure out what we are doing. Oh, yes, indeed. There we go. There's my stream. And I can see comments. Fantastic. So, guys, we are going to have a little look through that very, very shortly. In fact, I'm just going to skip through the ads and then we are ready to get going. So the first thing I want to do, everybody, is just make sure that you can hear me OK. So. So we've had one or two issues, so just going to do a quick mic check. Ada's happy with the levels. He's going to be doing some adjusting. He's going to do some adjusting. Um, we, we're trying we're trying out a new thing this week with a new microphone, and it's on the outside of the mask. Okay, so this is very much a trial week, and I've been told not to dip my head down, so I'm going to try and keep up, keep upright wherever I can. There's so much to think about. It's crazy. Okay. Now... Um, okay, um, funny fox, just need a bit of housekeeping. Would you mind uh, changing the four letter word that you mentioned just to something else and then we can post your comment? Okay, thanks very much. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay, brilliant. So, guys, what can I tell you? Instagram, we're going to say a big hello to you guys in a minute, okay? We've had a few technical issues, which is why we're a little bit late and we're going to be doing a few things on the fly. So, sorry about that. I've got my breathing mask on, which is great. And so far, everything is working well. I keep my fingers crossed. Right. OK. Very exciting week. Guys, upgrades. What can I tell you? First off, brand new chest cam. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Let's go for a walk around here. Chest cam. We've gone all... Well, we can theoretically transmit in 4K, although we're not going to do that tonight because it'll probably crash all the servers everywhere. So we've got a brand new uh, chest cam, and I'm going to calibrate it on the fly with my... Ooh, my LCD screen. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I know. You all want one, but you can't. Uh, so that's the chest cam. Brand new harness. Brand new microphone. Bit of an upgrade. Aidy's got to do some tweaks. 
and then we've got this on the outside of the mask. The other thing you'll notice, he said turning his back to the camera, oh hang on a minute, where's your backpack? Mm. No backpack guys, I'm afraid. This, this fella is going to be resigned to the bin very shortly, yes. So we are now backpack free. Why? Because I've got my wireless video transceiver, which is part of my amazing belt of, of awesomeness. Check that out. How cool is that? So there are upgrades this week, guys. Okay, brilliant. So if Amy's happy, we're going to do a quick tour to make sure the cameras are okay. So we pretty much know that corner cam coming through loud and clear. Brilliant, fantastic. Let us now go to overhead cam. He said standing on the canvas. Can you see me? Overhead cam, all systems go, yes. Okay, PTZ, let's, let's do the pose. Here we go, I'm going all Usain Bolt now. Oh dear, I know. Okay, can you see me? We're okay on there. Okay, brilliant. Now, the grand reveal. Here we go. He said, looking at his paints, fire up the chest cam, buddy. Let's see how we get on. Are we reading chest cam? I probably look like I've got a very deep Mediterranean tan. I haven't. I'm nice and pasty in white. Um, but um, I've yet to calibrate it on the little machine, so we will have a go at that very shortly. Has it remembered all my settings? It might have done. Anyway, we'll sort that out in a bit. So if chest cam looks a bit odd, we'll try and sort that out for you guys. Let me check with Aidy. Are we still on chest cam, buddy? Okay, we're on chest cam. Let's have a quick look at the table, guys, because I want to introduce you to some amazing colours. Now, historically, for those of you that join us every week, you may or may not be aware uh, that I've been trying some new colours recently. And in fact, let's grab you gorgeous folks of Instagram. Let's go and have a look at the table, all right? So these are some of the colours that we're going to be using tonight. Okay, so this is going to be really, really interesting. Now, as you can see, on the top, we've got a little fingerprint of the colours that are inside, and there really are some fabulous tones here tonight, uh, including some nice yellows and a couple of really vivid oranges, which is great. So I can't wait to get started with those. We've already got the cups ready. Fantastic. And we've got a few things pre-mixed uh, from some previous sessions. So I'm really quite excited to use those. And guys, let's have a look. Let's just pop Instagram back on their little holder. Thanks, guys. Welcome one and all. So you can see that. Let's just tilt you down. Oh, no, that's up. Let's just tilt you down a little bit. Can I introduce you to a huge canvas? Yes. Everything I said on YouTube, on the title, was correct. Here we go. And we are huge. Find me another artist that's doing this or live on the internet on a weekly basis. There isn't. We've got 3.2 meters. No idea what that is in feet and inches, but it's big. Now, um, we've also got 170 centimeters in that direction. So the finished article is going to be three meters by 150. So roughly a two to one ratio. Well, accurately a two to one ratio. Can't wait to get going. And we are doing something completely different. I've tried one already. It's amazing. We're going to be doing that again tonight, but you've got to tune in to see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so don't go anywhere. That's the important thing. There are uh, uh, some marks on the canvas, which are for my benefit. And I've got my first two colors, which we're going to get going with in a matter of seconds, okay? So that's the canvas. That's the cameras. That's the paint. I know what we're going to do. So I, I reckon, guys, should we, should, we, should we get going? We'll do a, quick, a few quick hellos, because you're really kind to join us this evening. So let's have a look and see who we've got. Brilliant. So we've got Funny Fox, formerly Rod Lion, and Sherry has joined us, Megan Michael, Ian Holmes, and the Rita are also here as well. Uh, okay, so Funny Fox is just saying that someone had given us a thumbs down already. Thank you, Funny Fox. Yeah, no idea why that would be, because we haven't done anything yet, but hey-ho, some people are like that. And we've got Pan Illustration, yes, likes the utility belt, of course. And Shelly has joined us, Christina, Zane, good evening, and Nana Maya. Oh, Nana, can I just ask, uh, did everything go okay with the sweatshirts? Hopefully, Nana asked about um, adult sizes in sweatshirts. In fact, I'll tell you what, we put on a brand new listing just before we seal everything up. Don't worry, guys, I'm coming back. Let me show you, check these bad boys out. Dun, dun, dun. So hopefully, Nana, everything was okay. 
There we go, look, so this is my hoodie, arrived today. Great big swirl splash and the website address on the back. Instagram, look how cool these are. You've just got to follow the link in the bio and you too can look as good as me. Aren't they awesome? So they're your adult sizes. And look, look, ta-da! <laughs> they're matching. So they are absolutely brilliant, guys. Crew necks as well as hoodies. There you go, buddy. Thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, yeah, well, uh, there's a link in the uh, description to all of that. Um, so you can't fail to find it. Enjoy yourselves, guys. Right. Who else have we got in? Um, oh, where's my mouse disappeared to? Just bear with me a second. There he is. There's the main man on the screen. And Cameron has joined us. Great. Andy Hill. Fantastic. And uh, right. And Nelson and Tina. Oh, brilliant. Let's go to the bottom of the list. Okay. And uh, great, so Nana's okay, so she's good. Kelly Carol Shop is here as well, fantastic. Let's just give you guys on Insta a quick shout out, and then we are gonna get going. I'm trying not to knock anything here. So Sonia is here, uh, Turbo Psychosis has joined. Uh, Dietzel, I feel joined, and I can't even pronounce that with a Z, but hi, how are you? Uh, Leslie Andrew 9907 uh, Florian and Fuertin and Cat Maroon, yay! Noemi has joined us as well. Goodness me, there's all, all sorts of people joining. Fabulous. Remember, share amongst your friends, guys, because I'm also going to be risking life and limb, shall I show you? Just before we get the black and white open, check this out. Look at that. Look at that. And if you stick around, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to be doing with that. Risking life and limb for your entertainment. Okay. Time we got going, guys. So I'm going to seal the pod up, and then AD is going to pop the extractor on, at which point my microphone may switch off. But hey, we think we know the reason why, so I think we're going to be solving that ready for next week. Okay. So A is going to pop up and do the extractor. Don't worry if my microphone disappears, okay? Let's just get ourselves sealed up here. Beautiful job. Okay, guys, we are all good to go. Right, here we go. Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? Three, two, one.
and OK. You'll be back. You click OK. And you got me. OK. Sorry, guys. Yay! What on earth? Have we just looked into the twilight zone or something? I, I just... Right, can you, can you speak to me, mate? Why can't I hear you? Hang on a second. No. Uh, oh, right, hang on a second. I'm flashing blue. Oh, that's it, I've got you now. Can you hear me? Oh, my lordy, lordy. Right, OK. Right. OK. Sorry, guys. Microsoft, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the daily updates. Thank you so much for changing every single setting inside the computer on a daily basis. Perhaps, maybe, you'd want to do it on an hourly basis, just, you know, for fun. Just, that would really help. Appreciate that. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. Um, what can I say? We're, we're back. We're back. Okay, we're back. Right, guys, we're going to get some painting done now. Thank you for bearing with us. Run and tell your friends. Look, you don't get this kind of awesomeness. Entertainment. You can't feel all this from any other channel can you i'm sorry insta so sorry we lost all the audio then um so anyway not to worry right i at the moment guys don't have any ear defenders on now they were a right pain last week i'm, I'm gonna get the built-in ones for the mask i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and do, do something with these this week but if it's a pain you're gonna have to forgive me because I, I, I'm not sure if they're going to work this week. Right, dude, can you speak into my ear? Just about got you. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to now I'm going to turn you up on here. Right, that's better. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I'll eventually do some painting, shall we? We'll be here an hour and then I'll actually do something, yeah. Right, okay, where are we at? Um, invisibility, another skill. Yeah, welcome back. Thanks, thanks, guys. Right, okay. <laughs> what a palaver. Okay, head up, head up, otherwise they can't hear you. Right, okay, are we ready to get going? Come on, man. Enough of you messing about, Ed. Let's go on to the overhead, my friend, and let's uh, let's do some painting. Right, here we go. Right, so, a little bit different tonight. Let's get some black on there. Let's see how we get on with that. So I tell you what we're going to do, everyone, now that we've finally got some audio. Goodness me. Uh, this is going to go down as one of those nights you're not going to forget, isn't it? I can just tell. So we're going to start spreading this out. Oh, careful I don't actually fall over the paint. Now, first thing I need to do is just get this line here done, okay? So I'm not really concerned with what's going on here. This is purely uh, about just covering some canvas. Now, if you're watching on Instagram, obviously, thank you very much. I'm going to move your camera angle very shortly. You've only got one camera, so we're going to move you around, see if we can uh, give you some more of the action as we do it. So at the moment, at the moment, we are covering quite a broad area of canvas. The important thing is at this stage, we just get the paint on. Now, can you all see, I'm sure you probably can, there are some marks here. On the, uh, on the bit that doesn't have any primer on it. Now, they're quite important. And I'm going to tell you why in just a moment. So I'm going to respect that. I'm going to stay away from those marks just at the moment. Now, if you are new here, obviously, thank you very much for joining and uh, giving us your time this evening, even with our technical gremlins. Uh, like I say, if you are new here, or you can watch on YouTube and you're new here, please do give us a subscribe. And at least when we do start to do some more crazy stuff on an impromptu basis, you're going to know when we go live. And trust me, we do plan to do it, especially over the months leading up to Christmas, no doubt. Right, OK, so. I just said we're going to not going to quite go to those marks just yet, and there is a reason for that. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, now that I've got some of this black on, which is a little bit light in places, but at the moment I'm not too worried about that. Here's what's going to happen. I am going to apply white on the other side. Oh, yes. Now, whilst that may not sound terribly earth-shattering, it's what happens when we meet in the middle of the videos. That's the bit I am looking forward to. Okay, so I'm going to drop a little bit more black on. 
and get it mixed actually and then we're going to go in with the white but oh my lord remember when we looked at the colors earlier on that's when things really start to happen but like with all really good things building your house creating art your foundations have to be solid and good and proper to let the rest of it really come to life the last thing i want is all this falling apart just because i haven't done the black and the white So, now that we have some audio, guys, yes, Funny Fox donated five pounds. Thank you very much, Funny Fox. Yay! Yay! Thank you, my friend. Well done. Thank you very much, Funny Fox. That's very, very kind of you. Oh, so um, George was asking, where is my old mask? Well, that's a very good point, and thank you for asking it, George. Um, the old mask is actually just hanging up while my clothes are hanging up, so if I ever have a problem with this one, I can put the old one back on. The old one is fine, but this one is better. So we've always got a backup if I need it. Okay, fantastic. So what have I done? Got a little bit more black here, and all I'm doing is just filling up some of the slightly lighter areas. And now I'm just going to do a single pass just to fill up that. Okay, brilliant, fantastic. So now we are absolutely going to go for it with the white. What I've got to be so careful about this, looking on the comments, and Rita says, I love monochrome. I know, isn't it lush? Uh, what I've got to be careful of here, guys, is that I don't get too much contamination. So I'm just going to give my scraper. If we can go on to chest cam, buddy. Let me show you. Uh, let me go over here because I'm going to swap you over now, Instagram. So you're going to see it from a different side. I'm going to give my scraper a little bit of a wipe just to get the excess of the black off. Okay. That's better. There we go. Okay, right, so now I've done that, let's bang that over there. Let's get the white open, and then we can get Instagram moved over. Oh, I say, what a night already, what a memorable evening. And we've only just started. I tell you, we need a medal, I think, for doing this. Right, okay, almost there. I need a couple of splodges of white. We're going really, really quite heavy in with the white, and uh, there's a reason for that especially when we start adding the colour. Now, I wonder if any of you are guessing what we're going to do where the two meet. Mm, now, that could be interesting. What am I going to do I know. black and white meat? I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Right, OK, let's get the right one. <laughs> so somebody knows, obviously somebody knows, yeah, I know. <laughs> right, so we've got to get quite a bit of white on here, guys. Now, whilst it looks like this is just a fairly straightforward, reasonably pedestrian series of base coating, what in actual fact this is, let me tell you, is quite an interesting formulation of paint quantities. Okay, Ed, sounds great. What on earth do you mean? Don't worry, Instagram, I'm going to move you in just a second. Well, what I mean is, is that for the vast majority of this uh, application, the tops and the bottoms are going to be left pretty much as they are. The important thing is, is as I get towards this horizon line in the centre. Now, this horizon line, as you can see on the chest cam, which is marked out, is the point at which I want the two to meet each other. But importantly, guys, I don't want them to mix at this stage. Now, as we move, well, move Instagram without killing you all. Let's move you over there, look, so you can get a better view. Let's pop you guys over there. Hopefully you can all see that okay. Give you a little twist around. Beautiful. Right, so, what I'm going to be doing, as we change camera angles uh, again, make sure my scraper's all right. Okay, let's put that over there, because of course we're going to be using this tool as well, which is the first time I've used it. Oh dear. Right. Okay, so I'm going to drop that down so you can have a little look. So I'm going to start spreading and manoeuvring. Okay, and this will tell me how much paint I'm eventually going to need. And now I just need to start moving this in towards the top, especially as I did at the bottom. 
All I'm really concerned about is just getting a covering of paint. It's all I want to do. Okay? But it's this horizon point in the center that's the most important part of it. Now, as I get everything covered, all the excess paint, as you can see now, is going to get moved towards the center. The important thing here is that once I'm satisfied with the outlying areas, remember the ones that aren't really going to have much paint on them, uh, any additional paint I should have, uh, I'm then going to start moving everything towards the middle. So this is a question with a single color of just movement back and forth until I get everything pretty much covered. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. Come on, Ed, how can we see white paint going onto white canvas and get excited about it? Well, let me tell you, it does get extremely exciting because we're going to start moving it in a different direction very, very shortly. And we're already getting, oh, look at that great big river that's starting to appear. Nice. All right, so we're going to take ourselves a little towards the top. Nice. Just here. This is so I can move onto the outline areas. I'm going to make sure the edges are covered. And now, yes, now I think we'll start. And we're going to start and pull all of this back to this center line. And if I'm careful, it'll just almost meet the back. There we go. That's what we want, guys. Some nice up and down vertical movements. Now, there is a reason why I want to go for these vertical movements. Uh, all that is going to be revealed very shortly. What this painting is going to be is all about the ups and the downs. Okay? So it really is all about vertical lines. So here, hopefully now on the uh, PTZ camera, you can see as I begin to move all the excess paint down towards the central horizon line. Now, admittedly, all you can see is probably just a whiteout um, at the moment, for which I apologise, but uh, um, all will become clear. OK, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm just going to check now a little bit lower than perhaps I want it to be. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to gently tease that white just back a little bit. I was a little bit overexcited then, look, because I know what's about to come. Am I building the tension? Can you feel it? Oh, you wait till we get going. Hallelujah. Right, OK, let's just backtrack that white up just a little bit because it's really, really important that I get a decent line here. OK, because of course you don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, do you? I do, I do. Right, OK, fabulous. So I'm just going to go in there with my line of black. All my line of black is going to do is just help me meet the white. OK, so I've got to be so, so careful now I don't mess this up. So Andy Hill says, is it a fluid pour? Um, no, Andy, it isn't a fluid pour, but thank you for asking. <laughs> Can anybody else guess what I'm going to do? Oh, now this will be interesting. Right. OK, just need a little squirt from the can in the centre. There we go, right. I think once I've maneuvered that around, guys, we're ready for the colours. We've got about two minutes before you find out exactly what I'm going to be doing with the colours. So here we go. We're going to be doing the same again. That's still got a little drop of white on, so let's get that wiped off because I didn't do it. And then we'll maneuver the black into place. Do you know, got to be honest, one of the you know, base layers and backgrounds can often be a very underrated part of the painting, especially when you look all the wonderful, magnificent stuff that goes over the top. However, as I've said before, it, it can't be ignored, you know, it's, it's such an important part of what goes on. OK, so let's just have a little look. Let's just pull these, pull this up. There we go. Now, don't mind this little bit of white mixing in. Just need to have this meeting point. The black meets the white. That's nice. Now, there's quite a big river there, so I'm going to pull that up. There we go. Happy days. Okay. No. Yes. Look at that. Now we're flying. I know. I know. Andy said that you're doing a fluid pour. There's a lot of, of paint on there, which causes it to look very fluid. But actually, no. This is not a fluid pour. But I think in probably about 60 seconds time, you're all going to find out exactly why I've been so careful with this line. Okay. Uh, right, so let's have a look at that. So that's not too bad. I just need to up this just a little bit. 
There we go. Just make sure my line is a little bit better. Now, AD's got better eyes in the sky than I have. So uh, you can let me know if I'm a bit too heavy in, or low in one particular area. So let's just get that out a little bit. Okay, fantastic. Now, has anybody guessed yet what we're going to do? <laughs> That's it. That's it with the scraper pretty much now. Oh, so Jerry thinks it's going to be swirls from the black and into the white. Interesting, Jerry. Um, sadly, though, no, it's not. Right, just need to up my mask a second, guys. Sorry about that. So Katie Herring, Ooh, yes, you could be on to something there, I think, uh, Katie. Right, sort myself out here with the mask. Just bear some splash of colours. Special source of thinness, says Ian. Streaks. Mm, right, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now I'm going to pick one of my brand new colours to begin with. Right, how are we doing, Insta? Everybody okay? Thank you for sticking with us. Okay, right, here we go, here we go. Let's start getting the uh, Mia Abdullah and Sylvia Pollock has joined us, which is fantastic. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Right, then. Are we ready? So here we go. Now, I think even when I start to put some of the first colours on, I'm not sure you're even going to figure out what it is that I'm doing. So let's just see, shall we? Right, we're going to start with a pink. <laughs> shall we do it, guys? So shall, we, shall we do this? If Shaya says do it, then we're doing it. Now, it's probably still not all that obvious as to what on earth I'm doing here. <laughs> so, uh, have we guessed yet? I'm not sure. Right, let me, uh, I've got a little bit more to uh, mix just with these few colours, and then I'm going to crack open some of the new ones, and I have to say, guys, there's a particularly nice orange and an incredible blue that I plan on using. So at the moment, I'm just going on my horizon point, Whichever camera we're on. Oh, it's so a multi revelator. Opposite colours on the colour wheel. A yin yang thing. Well, actually, you're not that far off. So, so uh, have 10 imaginary Suarez points. All right? For sure. Yes, you're not that far off, if I'm honest. I'm just going to thin this one down just a little bit. Okay, brilliant. So, this at the moment is me getting colour onto the canvas. Now, I'm doing this in fairly, fairly regular shapes and volumes because the volume is quite important here. What I'm trying to do... Okay, let's see if I can expand on this a little bit. What I'm trying to do here is bring in colours on this horizon line. Still doesn't take a genius to work that out. However, what you don't yet know is what I'm going to do with them. So... This is all about just building the colour up to begin with. Zane Taylor says tartan. I know, how am I going to do that, man? Goodness me. Good one, though. It's funny. Right, OK. Um, so, we've got a decent yellow there. Let's crack open some of the new colours, all right? So, I think I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with the orange. Look at this. Are you ready? Here we go. On, on, on three, two, one. Oh, hello. Yes. Hello, you. Oh, Instagram, you've got to see this, guys. Look at that. What? I mean, come on, this should be a public health warning. Eh? That should carry a, an over-18s only. That's just... Oh, that is gorgeous. Right, OK, I'll stop eulogising. Right, back on chest cam. Let's get some into the pot. Let's figure out what we need. That was a pot with something in the bottom of it. Can't tell you about. Right, okay, so let's go mixing. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, here we go. So let's get some orange in then, guys. Orange is going to be one of these completely standout colours. Oh, nice. this um, I love colour. I love it. Let's get some more orange there. Now let's get one of those bad boys there, I think. Nice. 
fantastic. Loving this. These colours are amazing. A funny box is off. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. And of course, Funny Fox is definitely right. Don't forget to give us a like, guys. It's so, so important. She's right. So let's do that. Let's give the, uh, let's give us a thumbs up. We're doing this and tackling them. all our gremlins. And despite everything, we're still doing it every week. Look, and we still try to reinvent the wheel, which we love doing it. And of course, without you guys, it wouldn't be anywhere near as much fun. So thank you for joining us and do give us a thumbs up. Right, on the overhead, so we're going for a different colour blue now. Not a lot, I'm just going for three of these. Not too much, there we go, brilliant, fantastic. Right, who's up for a drop of red then? Instagram, what do you reckon? Should we have some red? I think so. This is one of my new reds, because we had a problem the other week with red. So, let's just grab this bad boy out. Oh, and there goes... So, multi revelator, am I going to introduce an airline and blow one way and then the other? Ooh, now that is interesting. It's it's not a million miles away from that, actually. Oh, sorry about that. I've got the um, got my special tool. No, it's not a million miles away, actually. Your guess about it, glass of the now going one way then the other. We're almost there. That's a pretty good, pretty good uh, guess, to be honest with you. Right, let's get the red on. The red is. Oh, maybe without the red, the red is magnificent. I love all colours, look, I, I, I get really excited about all of them, don't I, let's be honest. So, Over the Rainbow says, um, do you want me to marry you, yeah? Oh, so sorry. I don't think that'll be possible today. So thanks anyway, really appreciate it. <laughs> well, what do I say to that? Move on, Ed. Um, right, okay, that's that one. Happy days. So let's pick ourselves another colour. I, guys, I want to go in. We haven't done purple yet, have we? Of course we haven't. Come on, purple. Let's get this done. Right, so we're multi-camera at the moment, which is great. Where's my jibber-jabber gone? The can opener. If I can find my can opener, that would actually be quite good, wouldn't it? There we go. Well, AD did see some of these colours earlier on, and was like, whoa! And this is one of them. This purple is fantastic. I need to get on something like a maroon or like a rich purple because I need them to tie that red in. But at the moment, this is more down to the blue end of the spectrum. Particularly nice purple. Mm. I love it. Yes. So let's get some of that on. Let's not, let's not mince our words here. That is epic. That is absolutely epic. Beautiful. Loving that. I bet this is starting to look really cool. Right, okay, so that's that done. The next one I need to get on... <laughs> multi revelator Gerhard Richter with a long stick. Mm, you got it! It's, it's good. It's a good guess, but it's not great. Uh, right, let's get, we're going to get a little dash of pink in there, not a lot, because we have got a little dash of pink anyway. And I want to get some lime green and some burgundy, they're going to be my final two before we start um, going for it. Okay guys, so two more to go, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do with it. So we've got these couple of dashes of pink, just here and there. It's kind of almost, almost got some sort of fleshy undertones in it. We're just going to have uh, three, one of those on the end, there we go, marvellous. And then let's reach for the lime green. This was one of the standouts we've been using the last couple of weeks. So we're going to get the lime green in there. And then, uh, like I said, we want to get the burgundy. I think I also have to put water blue in. Water blue is another one of those staples in the Suarez arsenal of magnificence. So we're going to get those in as well. Oh, Daisy Longmire, good night. Have to go. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for joining us. That's very good of you to, uh, to be here. Thank you as ever. Right, in with the green. Here we go. In with the green. Let's get one in there. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at that. Two. Let's get one in there where the blue's disappeared. Three. And we'll go for number four there, I think, just north of the border. Brilliant. And then, okay, so we've got one there. What did I say we we're going to put in? And we've got water blue to go in. And we've got the burgundy, haven't we? So let's put ourselves... Really nice kind of rich burgundy. I'm not going to hit it with the purple just yet. 
That's a nice one. Let's go for that. It's a maroon, but I don't know what's the difference between maroon and burgundy. I call them both. It's this colour anyway. Can you see that on chest cam, buddy? Okay, so let me introduce you to this. This is quite an unusual one. Uh, this happens to have undertones, almost woody like sort of earthy undertones to it, but it also exists at the red end of the spectrum, so it's pretty much taking all those purple hues away. And this is sort of a, a real rich kind of reddy, I don't know, kind of ochre, musty kind of colour, but it's got that sort of red pigment in it. It's really nice, and it's one of those sort of blends, those things that stand between colours that help bring them together. Right? So we get a few of those in. Now we get one at that end as well. And so it's 44 minutes in. I think I think I think the uh, <laughs> think we got ourselves back on track, guys, haven't we? Which is excellent. Right then, one final colour, and you wait and see what's gonna happen next. You watch this absolutely come to life. Okay, my final colour is going to be Oh, now then, just be careful, eh? Just careful you don't mess this up. Yes. But now, no, I'm not going to go near to blue. I'm going to come in with this really nice kind of Neapolitan duck egg blue. That is magnificent. And I want one more carton. And then I think we're good to go. And this is where I'm going to use my big, long wooden thing. Because believe it or not, guys, I've got to get into the centre of this. And the only way I can stretch over a giant canvas is to prop myself up. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. It's propping myself up. So I'm going to be painting with one hand and then leaning with the other. <laughs> now, I think Ian, Ian Holmes has hit the jackpot. Yes, Ian. These are all going to start moving. There's a volume of paint starting to mix in already. And that's exactly what we're going to do, Ian. We've got a horizon line there. And I've got lots of nice colours going on. So this is the time when we're going to start moving them. Guys, that's the colour on. Oh, we've managed to achieve it. Thank you very much. And about time. So, one of my most favourite tools is this. And this is a great spreader. Tyler would use it. Fantastic. Love them. What a genius. And here we go. Are we ready then? Uh, are you ready? And we'll start moving. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So we're going to start moving this backwards and forwards just to begin with. Oh, nice. Yeah. I want nice, even linear strokes. I want paint to start mixing. I want it to move away from lines and move back again. Gorgeous. I want paint to mix with itself. This is gorgeous. Look at that. They're like sails on the sea. Beautiful. Now then, this is a bit try untried and untested. So I'm going to have to try and prop myself up. If I fall on it now, all right, let's hope it goes viral. Uh, right, let's see if I can do this. Uh, I, I might have to be quiet a second, you guys. I'm sorry about that, but I'm just going to prop myself up and stop myself from falling into a heap and embarrassing myself. Actually, why not need that? Right, purple. Yes, purple down, purple up. Ice. Green. Where's the green going? Green up with pink, down into the black. Beautiful. Mm. Heavenly. Right, let's start moving some of this. Oh, can we do that? Here we go. No, no, it's happening, guys. No, it's happening. This is what we've been waiting for. Okay, brilliant. Love that. Love that, love that. Yes, come on. Right, let's see if we're going to prop ourselves up now. <laughs> Oh, dear, this, oh, this is going to be tense now, isn't it? Got to make sure my horizon is right and that I don't have paint to in the wrong place. And my earmuffs are falling off. Right, let's see if we can give this a go. Oh, should we just take a breather for a second? <laughs> oh my word. I seriously want you all to see this. This is absolutely insane. What is... Ah, oh, yes. I've done one of these already. It's going to be on the site. Um, we've had a couple of clients here this week who have seen it, you know, the smaller version, and gone, wow, Ed, that is absolutely incredible. And I'm like, yeah, we've been practicing this for a number of weeks. Uh, secretly 
and it's just been incredible the results but this is the first time guys we're doing it on a big big scale and you're the first to see it that's the, that's the, that's the reality of it you're the first to see this and already i'm getting tingly this this is this is exactly what i wanted oh of course we're only on the first phase of putting the color on so um let's have a go now let's see if i can not kill myself oh look at that mauve and that lilac yes red let's get the red in red down into the black nice probably have to put some more on there that's okay very good oh yes look here we go <laughs> I'm just going to check something with AD, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I was just... Um, I'm not sure. I'm just going to chat to AD. I'm not sure. I know I posted it online, but... I, I, oh, yes, of course, yes. But I posted it online. And uh, so I'm just chatting to AD, guys. Yeah, when the, uh, you took the photo, when we finished stretching it. Of course, yes. Yeah, so it is out there. Okay, right, so I want to be really careful to, to preserve some shapes here. Now, of course, what I'll find out, uh, yes, Jeremy, you are right, Ele elemental spirit, yes. <laughs> Thank you for taking me some social media. I'm very impressed. Okay, <clears throat> so let's move this along. This is working really well. I'm quite happy with this. So uh, the, uh, <clears throat> using the bar, actually, is a bit of a last-minute thing. So let's just see how we get on with the movement of these shapes i'm trying to look as i'm as i'm going along as much as what's happening in the white as obviously in the blacks it's terribly important you know that we, that we keep we keep everything as fluid as possible but also not ignore what's going on in the black areas because they're just as important to show off the white in a sense and it's really 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 super important to respect all the parts of the painting otherwise if one of them falls down it all falls down Okay, that's fine. So, whew, okay, let me just come up for air for a second, guys. That's quite uh, that's quite tiring. So, let me re just reposition myself so I can hear everything. We're going to get this out of the way. Now, crucially, lots and lots of things going on in my head. Okay, here I stand back. Right, well, first of all, I need to make sure that I've got my horizon line right. Now, especially when this is stretched around its frame. Imagine that. If, if I'm going to be dipping on a particular side, that's going to make the whole feel, thing feel unbalanced, and you're going to notice it. So that's the first thing. Okay, so, so secondly, what about my ratios? You know, I'm looking at what's what's coming and emanating down into the black as much as how much dances up into the white. Uh, so I'm then looking, thinking about when that's stretched, how much do we get at the top versus how, do we, how much do we get at the bottom. And I want to slightly weight it so it's less... Black at the bottom and new white at the top, if that makes sense. Now, of course, inevitably, as you may or may not have seen, when the colours went on, straight out of the tin, sorry, after having been mixed, of course, we go for some very, very strong colours. Bear in mind, though, that the horizon point was a mixture of white meeting black in this rivered edge. And, of course, as I've mixed, it's then mixed white and black in with it. So, inevitably, there is going to be a, a subduing, if you like, of tones in there but that is entirely deliberate because whilst this is a cacophony and rainbow of really happy colors part of the principle of doing this is that i actually don't want any one color to be too dominant and if you've got this gigantic in your face rainbow it kind of is ali and go with me on this almost spoils that the, the harshness of the black and the white what i want this center thing to do is be fairly relaxed as this point between white and black between light and dark and it doesn't have to be all singing or all dancing i really want the shapes to uh, to do that and carry that up for me but even after the first wave of attacking it that's that's looking pretty good and i'm pretty happy with that i think i already know a few places where i'm likely to add and take away maybe some of the uh, some of the paint um so i think you know looking at that and of course it's quite difficult <laughs> For me to assess this from here, so I'm going to look on the overhead um, shot uh, on the laptop in just a second. I might want to add some wisps of colour just here and there. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do, because there are a couple of dark places, and I think I want to lighten them up. And on the very first one I did, so yes, as Jeremy had said, he's seen it on social media, 
which is called Elemental Spirit. Um, I, I then... <laughs> oh, Sherry, yes, it does look familiar, doesn't it, the painting? So what I'm going to do now is, is, is add some, carefully add some white elements, just on, you know, about three or four inches below where I did the black horizon line, because as the paint dries, it's going to soften uh, just some of these these black areas down here, okay? Um, and then I'm going to look at, do I need them to drop in any other little soup songs of paint, of which I might be tempted to do a drop of orange, maybe. The red is holding itself. It might just have to be a drop of red there. So I think a little drop of red and orange is okay. I'm still getting the green. The blue is quite dominant. The pink is calming things down. So actually, that's not, that's not far off. That's not far off. I think, I think we're almost there. Oh, thank you guys. Let's have a look at your comments for a second. Um, Multi-revelator, call it done. <laughs> Walking through a forest of beautiful colours. Uh, thank you, Daisy. That's really nice. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, Andy, would it work on a smaller canvas? Yeah, I definitely think it would. Um, yeah, title Confluence, literally multiple meeting points. Very good, Ian. Yeah, to, to answer your question, Ian, sorry, I'm just going to have to raise my, uh, mask air up, Ian. Um, yeah, I think it'll definitely work on a small scale. I know the dynamics will change depending on the scales that they work to. So I think, yes, absolutely, that, that's very important to uh, to consider. And it is something that, you know, we've chatted about doing. So I think definitely at some point that will happen. Right, guys, we're going to switch now. Just briefly, just very carefully, to some soup songs of white, which I'm just going to use just here and there. And it's just in these, some of these black areas. Well, I, I just want to introduce, you know, just a slight sort of break in proceedings, shall we say. Most of which of this is just going to wash out anyway, but it's just enough just to give it a little, a little soup sound, just to break it up a little bit, right? Let's bring the white out there, that's fine. I'll uh, just have one across there, across there maybe, just perhaps, very careful now, just pull it there. Uh, that's okay, and then just one along the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. So, Zane says he fancies the white at the bottom. Really? Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, how does that look then? So, is that like a... Like a... I don't know what, what you'd call that. Like a tundra at night? <laughs> how very interesting. I like your thoughts there, Zane. Mm. Right, okay. So, time just to pop on, I think, a few, just one or two tiny colours, just here and there. And now what I've got to decide on is, am I going to move these and wet to in what, what kind of ratio and what width? So I think we're going to go back to just touching this up with our uh, scraper. Uh, sorry, our tile spreader. Great, spreader. I'll get the words right in a minute. And I did mention a slight touch of red just in the centre. We need a little bit of warmth here, just where it's the black. That's fine. Not a lot. Doesn't need a lot. Green, I still think, in those places is absolutely fine. And we just marginally lose a drop of orange here. Snow at night, indeed, Rita. It does look like that. And because I love orange, it's my favourite colour. I'm going to have some in the middle. Right, let's do a reality check on the purple situation here then, guys. Okay, so we have we have got some delineation of that. It has disappeared, but that's okay. So I'm going to go for one there, and let's reintroduce some just here, where it's gone a little bit dark. Got to be careful next to the lion, because those two really don't like each other. Not in my world, anyway. Uh, okay, apart from that, I think that's pretty good. So we're just going to have one more little uh, sort of play with that, and. Uh, I can hear something buzzing in my ears, but I'm going to ignore that. It's either a very angry bee or something isn't right. Okay, let's go. Right, so here's my purple. So I just want to have a little bit of play with that. So I'll put it down, maneuver it there. There's a lot of can of my hands. Um, yeah, no, that's fair enough. No, that's good. I'm going to do the same again now with the yellow. Oh, a little bit of the bottom there is good. Let's chuck a bit of that at the top. 
Can I whisk that out? Yes, I can. That's nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's all the way through. See, the same with the red. Oh, good. Look at that little. Sorry, Eddie. I'm just losing you in my ear at the moment because I think my earpiece is falling out a little bit. I'll be with you in a sec, mate. All right? Sorry. Just do these and I'll be all right with you, buddy. Oh, that's good. That was a good one. That, that's really made a difference. We've got this orange here. Let's get that orange out into the black. What well, I mean, there's your classic combination. That is nice. That is really working well, guys. That's, that's great. Bless you. Uh, okay, that's great. Now, already, it's starting to congeal, <laughs> which I remember from having done the first one, which is great. Oh, this is nice. This, this is really shaping up nice now. Just while it's in my head, I'm going to come around this side, guys, and I just want to tease out some of these more staccato forms. You know, we've stopped, even though they look amazing. I just want to soften these up just a little bit. So let's get some circles into those. You know, here. Okay, that's important because I don't want I don't want anything to feel too too forced or too unorganic. Having said that. Um, Okay, that's all right. That's not too bad. Good. I tell you what, some of these forms literally are unbelievable. Right, let me put my earpiece back in so, uh, so I can hear that AD. Right, dude, can you give me a comms check? Great, okay, fantastic. I've got you back. That's great. Yeah, I think my ear defenders have just pulled the microphone out slightly. Okay, so the only thing I really want to have a, a little play about before we call it done is... A couple of these lines here just need a little bit of something doing to it and just here i haven't got enough going on so can i pull the orange that's better look so we just pulled an orange down which has helped soften that black up which i'm really pleased about and other than that that's not bad i think i probably need to leave that for a little while to skin over now what will probably happen guys <laughs> i'll be working on this now on and off probably for the next well, I don't know, even though it's late here. Certainly for about an hour or so. Because I now need to make sure this close into proceedings um, that anything that starts to swoop and change or modify itself over and above anything where it should be is, is dealt with as quickly as possible. You know, and I'm, I'm quite anxious to get the shape defined and things that move where they shouldn't. I want them back to where they need to be, etc., etc. Um, so, yeah, I think there'll be a little bit of Speaking of on, but I have to tell you, wow, let me move this out of the way, guys, so you can see what's going on. Uh, ear defenders falling down again. Right, that's better. I can hear myself now. Ooh, I tell you. Right. What do we, what do we reckon to that, guys? Hopefully you're seeing that on, on camera. Let me uh, take my gloves off. Let's have a little look at what we're all thinking. Instagram, guys, how are you doing? Sorry, I, I haven't been ignoring you all. <laughs> Let's have a little look at that. There you go, guys. Look, give you a little whistle stop to a... Oh, yeah. Check it out. That's nice. So what are we all thinking of that? I think that's magnificent. What a happy, happy thing. I mean, it really is just utterly gorgeous. Let's go back the other way. Phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, gosh. Can you imagine a nice big room with that on the wall? Amazing. I certainly can. Good one. There you go. Right, let's just pop you down there so you can see it. Marvellous. Right, so was that a question, bud? What consistency says Sherry? Uh, I don't know how you'd answer that, really. Fairly gloopy, but when I start adding chemicals, it sort of loosens itself up a little bit. <laughs> Not a very technical answer, but I hope that makes sense. Uh, right, uh, magnificent, beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, says Casey, thank you. We've got some nice uh, clapping emojis going on from Daisy. Cameron likes it, thinks it's lovely. Joyce, says the router. And Mark, hello, Mark. That's, uh, that's very cool. That's fantastic. And maybe Michael likes it. Don't forget, guys, if you are enjoying this, uh, remember to give us a thumbs up. It's so, so important. And, uh, you know, give us some love over on Insta for those of you that remain. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> and don't forget to give us a subscribe, guys. So you get all of the uh, notifications whenever we go live and we start doing some of this amazing stuff. You get to see about it first, okay? Really important. 
turn on your notifications, boom, you don't have to worry about it ever again. Remember also, we're on Patreon too, and uh, we'll soon be sending calendars out. It's the only place you can get calendars this year, guys. Really, really important. I hope that by next week, we'll have the actual physical ones to show you. Our patrons get them as part of their, uh, their, their subscription and supporting us. So uh, it's really, really important. Patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. Go check out what you get. It's amazing. Fantastic. All the exclusive stuff. Brilliant. Guys, haven't we done well this evening? Remember, if you uh, have enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. We've only got 21 thumbs up so far. Oh, no, look what I've done. Look what I've done. I'm all over the canvas. No head. Move it. Phew. Okay. So, uh, yeah. There we go, guys. What? What a revelation. Hey? Look at that. Look at what we've done this evening. Something we've tried and it worked really well and now we've got big time on it and i couldn't be happy with it wowzers look at that happy days so um let's have uh, one final look at what we think zane taylor uh well he seems to quite like it <laughs> i won't repeat what he said but thank you zane and um andy hill has enjoyed it thanks andy and hopefully nana has done it and shelly's given us some thumbs up which is brilliant Oh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Who've we got still on Instagram? And uh, we've got Turbo Psychosis and Seymour and Rani and Fluid Art and Connie Duck. Oh, lovely, fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Well, do you know what? We're going to do the same again next week and hopefully we'll be on time. Yes, we might even be on time. What a revelation that would be. But I hope you've enjoyed this evening's broadcast. I've had tons of fun creating for you tonight on something that I've been looking forward to do, to do for quite some time. AD, is there anything you want to say to uh, to the ladies and gents? Just want to say uh, apologies for the uh, audio. So, I can't shut down the OBS studio whilst we're running live, otherwise I lose live stream, so I have to try and figure it out. But we got there in the end, we know what it is. It's Windows updates, it just wipes everything off this thing. There are so many things that need to be set up for this. So I do apologise again and hopefully next week, fingers crossed, you know, rubber, lucky rabbit's foot, touch some wood. Mm. We won't have any brilliance. Mm. We'll see you next week. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we look forward to seeing you same time, same place, next week, 7.30pm UK time. And we're going to do all this all over again. And we can't wait for you to join us. And on behalf of the big man and myself, can we say thank you so much for watching? And uh, we look forward to seeing you same time next week. And as far as HQ, we are officially out of here.